Hello and welcome. You're watching DBMN TV. This is Abigail R. Karmalim bringing to you the Salesian news across the globe. On May 3rd, the Rector Major of the Salesian Congregation made his second stop in Tenerife as part of the celebrations for the 75th anniversary of the Salesians in La Oratawa. On the way, he met with young people, educators, members of the Salesian family and civil authorities. The starting point, and it could not have been otherwise, was the courtyard of the Salesian house where boys and girls from all the different educational stages experience a festive meeting with the tenth successor of Don Bosco to recreate the oratory in style and to thank Father A.F. Artime for his visit. I have been hearing the name of this house for over 30 years, yet I had never been able to come to La Orotawa. That is why I am thrilled to be here to greet you and to look into your eyes from the youngest to the oldest. It is really very nice and special to be here and see each other, shared the Rector Major in his first greeting, having at his side Father Juan Carlos Perez Godoy, Councillor for the Mediterranean Region, Father Angel Osermendi, Superior of the Spain Mary Help of Christians, SMX Province, Father Francisco Jaldo, Director of the Salesian Presence, and Maria Los Ortades, School Principal. Don Bosco Dream of La Oratawa. These 75 years that we are celebrating, in which so much life has been shared, show that the work of Don Bosco has become a reality in Tenerife through each one of you, he explained. In a few years, your sons and daughters will be in this courtyard celebrating the centenary and you will be talking about this day. So keep believing in your years so that they can take root. He concluded before initiating the family photos with the different stages having Mount Teddy as a witness behind them. From April 22nd to 26, eight German and six French teenagers aged between 13 and 17 shared a stay at the Don Bosco School of Life in Tree Chateau. The German teens, accompanied by three educators, came from the Jugendhil Fizentrum Don Bosco in Sanus. The French children of various ethnic backgrounds, accompanied by two educators, come from the Notre Dame de Montmelian Children's Social Welfare Home in ehani sur on the outskirts of Paris. Father Christian Valhaus, vicar of the Slesian province of Germany, and Father John Tmary, petit clerk, vicar of the Slesian province of France, southern Belgium, participated in the supervision and animation of the state. The program included group games, a day in Paris, as well as sports and water activities at the Aqua Vixen Center and the Eventualan Park. The course meant that the young participants from the first evening of presentation helped with much bashfulness came to experience the last evening with the presentation of their talents, dancing and singing with enthusiasm on the stage of the theater of the reception center. Despite the language barrier, adroitly tackled by young people who use their smartphones for translations, genuine exchanges of fraternity and friendship took place in a Slation atmosphere that marked their spirits. The event was organized by Don Bosco Action Sociale, the Federation of All Social Works, which under the leadership of Father Petit Clerk, coordinates a hundred of source services offered in France, Belgium and Morocco. Of prevention, social mediation, daycare in the internees of children and adolescents entrusted to social services and by juvenile judges or handicap and reception and accompaniment of young migrants. Students, teachers and staff of Kautu Magalhai State School in Campinapolis gathered on April 27 to honor Indigenous Peoples Day. Indigenous Peoples Day in Brazil was established in 1943 and is celebrated annually on April 19 to acknowledge the importance of indigenous peoples to the country's history and culture as well as to draw attention to the struggle to preserve their traditions and respect for their rights. To commemorate the date, a series of activities were held at the school under the coordination of teacher Yama Azevedo. According to the teacher, the objective was to specifically highlight the Zavante people. In three different school periods, lessons were held on the indigenous people of Brazil and in particular on the Zavante culture with traditional events, presentations of typical songs and dances, poems, etc. Salesian deacon, 
Jose Alves represented the Salesian mission to En Mato Grosso at the event and gave a lecture on the indigenous culture, listing cultural elements such as language, traditions, lifestyle and the various challenges currently face within the municipality. It was a very productive and enriching day, said the Salesian. Congratulations to the school team which organized the event because the school has a large number of enrolled students of indigenous origin. The Fiji Islands Catholic Youth Meeting held last April 28 at the Don Bosco Parish in Nasino was a great success. Young people from all over the country gathered to strengthen together their faith in God. The meeting opened with mass celebrated by Father Cho Ho James, director of the Suva work. A welcome address by the pastor, Father Tolu Taisali, followed. During the day, the youth took part in various games and sports activities. All were designed to engage young people and inspire them to live out their faith in their daily lives. For the Catholic youth of the Fiji Islands, the event was inspiring and meaningful and will surely have a lasting impact on the lives of all who attended. On April 21st and 22nd, there were visits to the families of the young people of the student residents of the Don Bosco Oratory of Santiago del Estero, who reside in the locality surrounding Santo Lugares in the department of Alberti. The visit is part of the program of the Juvenis Campesinos Young Peasants Project, which aims to share the world and educational situation of young people and to bolster the exchange with their families. The group was welcomed by the principal of the Agro-Technical School, Sant Benito, Ms. Moira Ballara, who shared the work guidelines and goals set for the year 2023. In addition, environmental educator Eugenia Achaval explained how to separate and manage waste and provided tips for the maintenance of family gardens. All these activities are necessary to foster the integral development of communities and promote the care of the common home. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.